Can't wait to get the crystal battery up and running. This thing's going to be a game changer for the energy business. The technology we build here today will make a better tomorrow for everybody. I can feel it. Someday soon, the world will finally understand my vision. We're not giving up until that day comes. Hey, hey, I couldn't have done it without you guys. This was a team effort. Don't forget that. I know I will. Soon, we'll be the biggest and best this world has ever seen. Just one last push. Are you with me? Uh, yeah. I, I was... Why was I... I, I, I don't... There's one last memory I want to show you. Please. You have to remember who you used to be. You have to bring the old zip back. Uh, so I stayed up all night making this for you? <laughs> How about that, huh? A custom leg made just for you by the world's greatest engineer. You're, you're, you're gonna love it. This isn't my leg. I want my leg. I want my... No, I, I, I get it, Bracken. I, I get that you're upset, but... We're engineers. We solve humanity's problems. We use technology to help people. That's our purpose. That's what we do. Now, do you, do you really want a, a little thing like this to stop you from fulfilling that purpose? I... We solve humanity's problems. And we solve each other's, too, right? Um, you lose a leg, I make you a new one. I lose a hand, well, you know, I, I hope you do the same for me. Oh, Zip. And this leg, it's not just a machine. I put my heart and soul into it. It's, it's, uh, it's a part of me. Thank you. Hey, uh, I'm your boss. It's my job. I... Look, Zip, look at it! You've seen the things we can do these days. I could have upgraded it. I could have gotten rid of the leg you made me. But I would never do that. This leg? This leg is what gave me the courage to carry on. What got me where I am today. I, 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 I... 
You were the best engineer, the best boss, the best friend anyone could have. You had a good heart, the best. You have to remember, you have to. I, I remember now, I, I remember everything. What, what, what have I done? Zip, it's you, isn't it? The real you. You're back. Brack and I, I'm so sorry. If it wasn't for you, I, I don't think I, I ever would have remembered. Everything's shaking. Oh no. Bastion! Well... Attention all team members, I need you to channel all available power into the reactor's high pressure inlets right now. But, but, President Vector, they weren't designed to take that kind of punishment. And you know what that means better than anybody. The reactor will go critical and the core will fuse. In other words, we'll wind up with the world's most expensive hunk of junk. You sure about this, Zip? She's your baby. It's that or risk the lives of every person in this country. You think I'd hesitate for even one second? I'm the executive director of this company and the leader of this nation. Nothing is more important than my people. So flood the damn tubes. That's an order. Yes, sir. For Broadleaf. Oh, my 
my goodness! All right! Hey! He's got to be around here somewhere. Watch your back! Go for the legs, Save Evan! Him. The legs! The only way to take them down!
useful. I think it's not so fast. Evan! I understand now! A leader must be willing to give his life to protect his people. That's what Zip is planning to do, but I'm not going to let him. Not now. I won't run away. Not again! Not ever! Oh, Evan! Oh. Flipping Eggman, I am buzzing! Here goes nothing!
you're kidding! And there I was, just getting used to being big and long and handsome again. Knickers! <laughs> exactly! But, but I... Don't deserve to run this country, huh? I think the people might have something to say about that. President Vector, I came here originally to ask you something. You see, I'm trying to bring peace to our world. Real, lasting peace. But I will need your help to do it. Can I count on your support? Oh, I'm sure we can come to some kind of an arrangement. We'd need a preferential trade agreement, of course. Do you guys have an official technology partner? Let our nations be joined for the sake of the world. Let the banners of war ne'er again be unfurled. United, United we, we stand, stand as, as one single, single land. land. So he's looking to bring back this horned one, and you're looking to stop him? 
Yes. And if we can join forces with the other kingdoms, we may just stand a chance. I see. And out of the big players, there's only Ding Dong Dell left now, huh? That could be difficult. Yes. But I can tell by your face, you're not going to back down. Luckily, we'll be right behind you. You have my word as president of Broadleaf. Thank you so much. You'll be going with our new friends, Bracken? Yes, Mr. President. Just as you ordered. But is that really all right? Bracken's awfully important to your kingdom, isn't she? Sure, and she'll be important to yours too. I could hardly send some second-tier engineer to help our new partners now, could I? You heard the man. I'll be on hand for all your mechanical and technological needs from now on. From hair clips to airships, I'm your gal. So President Vector was free from the grip of his obsession. And Broadleaf became the next country to sign up to the Declaration of Interdependence. And not only that, but Evan found a new friend in Bracken Meadows, whose endless inventiveness was sure to help Evermore flourish as never before. Only one great nation now remained. Ding Dong Dell. So Lottie finally showed his true power. Yes, it was such a surprise. You never would have guessed from looking at him. And everything seems to be settling down in Broadleaf too. It does, yes. President Vector is back to his old self. I'm sure he'll put his people first from now on. And his friends will learn to trust him again soon enough. The bond between them is too strong for them to hold a grudge. I only hope that I can forge such firm friendships. I've a long way to go before people look up to me like they do Zip, though. I'm nothing like him. It takes all kinds of kings to make a world. I think you should just keep doing what you're doing. Perhaps you're right. Hey, Evan. Have you ever thought about what you'd do if someone really close to you betrayed you? What? Oh, I was just wondering. Forget I asked. <laughs>